You ready to be what? I said what? Passenger seat princess. On the road trip. That's what we doing. Mm hmm. Make sure you have all the things you need, honey, while you drive. Hi, right, I can deal with that. I had to get that makeup off my face. Get your towel. How long is this road trip? Mm, about four. About four hours. Mm. Sound like you was about to say four and a half. <laughs> Close to five. <laughs> this is a road trip for real. Nah, it really is. Supposed to be acting like you know Charlotte's right up the street. Really? Because Charlotte how, is not right up the street. That's definitely though. what I was thinking in my mind. I mean, nah. I know that we've talked about it before, but I still was like, oh, it must be like a real quick little three hours. Is is like, oh, that's alright. Yeah, but the thing is, anything like, over three is like, not nah, fast. I agree. But the thing is, we like coming right back and you over here got like. Honey, you, this is look, our, this is look, our stuff baby, in a carry on. A, in a carry on, I got me and your stuff in here. What have we going for? How many hours? Maybe, maybe 15. The thing is barely closing. No, it is definitely closing easily. Look at that. <laughs> I might, I might start trusting you, and I don't, I don't really want to do that. I've been hurt. Yeah, yeah. So, so now I'm about to make you pay a bill that you didn't charge, because I'm about to make you stay at a distance because somebody else hurt me up close. We out here doing the most. <laughs> Talking about you really not. Nice. I'm really not hyped, but hey, you know, it's another morning. You know, finally made it to the hotel with this one. Leave it out now. So hello, man. Hello. Coming in. Oh, the young man who opens my door. Oh, okay, okay. Cozy wozy. That is. Anything else? Okay. Is that going to be for here? Or do you want your caramella in a mug or paper cup? Actually, like, it looks like a... Yeah, like very cutesy, very demure. <laughs> Moving on to other things. No, I'm playing. <laughs> Look here. <laughs> Stop looking at me. Silly. So yeah. Um Greensville. Is that where we was, mate? Yes. Greensville, South Carolina was a little vibe. So um they had this real cute downtown area that was real um it gives you like historic old town, but still like you could tell that it's like a, a, a well established um downtown area um baby it had food on top of food on top of food so we stopped at a at a restaurant first and we asked the girl like okay what you know what would you recommend um for for coffee and um the waitress said uh she told us about this underground coffee spot insert in the video, you'll see the name of it. I, I do not remember the name of almost none of the restaurants. I'm so sorry, but I will make sure that I put them in each video. Well, I'll make sure my husband, the 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 the, the brains behind all of this uh, content creation, <laughs> I'll make sure he puts it in there. But we went to this um, coffee shop downtown or in this 
it was it's called like the underground coffee shop or something like that um, and it was real cute and cozy my husband got a um, caramel macchiato their version of it I think it was called like a Carmilla or something I think it was something like that really good really cutesy um, very cutesy very demure um, we also tried like their strawberry cake but um, I kind of just had this um, old rustic chic kind of look to it so yeah so that ended up being um a vibe and then we went over and we had uh we stopped and we tried these french fries again don't remember the name of the restaurant i will insert it but we tried these french fries and so the french fries were like um chili cheese dog fries so i don't really like chili but i love hot dogs so um the french fries had like the you know french fries chili cheese um hot dog slices ketchup mustard very good insert those there as well um but baby when we walked in how about this lady we see this lady at the bar and i'm in front of my husband so i'm not really paying attention i'm not really grasping that she's looking at my husband but i see her she's like waving y'all gonna see her but she is waving real aggressively like real excited like she is excited to see somebody so we number one we're in south carolina and um you know we just just dropping in so i'm definitely not thinking that she's waving at him <laughs> but i kind of look at him and he's looking real like i don't know babe like he's looking at me like i don't know i don't know what's going on i don't know why she's waving and i'm like oh she's waving at you so then we go we double back and she's waving again and she still just kind of kept staring at him so it turns out he's like my husband is from south carolina he went to high school in south carolina um and then you know also south carolina is very close to georgia so definitely a potential that maybe she really knows him um from either south carolina or georgia but it was just so funny because i'm like this lady is real hot to see my husband like what is going on um anyway um anyway well, let me tell you one thing that we do do we have created a little um toiletry bag that does not get emptied all we do with this is refill it when it needs to be refilled but baby the way we've been traveling we stay ready do you hear me we stay ready um but anyway so then um after french fries so we've had coffee we've had french fries um we ended up stopping at a mexican restaurant um the mexican restaurant that we stopped at by this point honey we just we just eating just to eat and we <laughs> We really had no more room for it so we didn't even eat the food but we ended up ordering it all to go my husband and i are really crazy about quesadillas and so when we find a spot that got a good quesadilla oh baby you have won us over and so when i looked at this quesadilla and i saw the crisp okay the crisp on the quesadilla i already knew it was about to hit um but we tried some queso quesadilla and a couple tacos that were really good um, they ended up everything ended up being really good we didn't eat it until we got in the car we knew we still had like a three hour drive back home so we were like oh this could be perfect we'll just eat this when we get in the car um and then we closed it out with uh some ice cream and so i had when i walked into the ice cream shop um i had to use the restroom so i'm like honey you go ahead and you do that you order the ice cream so i'm like i really want a strawberry shortcake because i love strawberry shortcakes i saw it on the menu I come back out he totally did not order the strawberry shortcake by the way because you know that's what husbands do they own things <laughs> but um what he did end up ordering i don't really know what it was but it was like this mixture of like strawberry ice cream um caramel ice cream and maybe some type of graham crackers or something i don't know i would have never ever thought to put that together but maybe it was good hitting do you hear me um so overall our little food tour in greensville south carolina was a success definitely me and him was already scoping out like all right we come back we could stay at this hotel we can go to this restaurant next it was so much more um i would say mainly food options down there um they did have a couple shopping um spots we did not we weren't really in the shopping mood that day so we didn't go shop but we did definitely see um a lot of potential shopping places a lot of potential um spots to like just for a hotel stay um a little staycation you know um and the food tour that we had even just on that small little level was banging it was good definitely everything was good everything was like i will go back um and then as we were driving through um one of the things that we did we stopped at um 
he stopped at this cookie shop. And so in a shop, stopping at the cookie shop, um, the I don't know if he's the owner of the cookie shop, but he was working at the cookie shop. And he was just explaining to us how um, the hurricane, Hurricane Helene, that had just passed, um, how it had affected like the town um, and the area. He said they were without power for 10 days, without Wi-Fi. Still the day that we were there, they still without, without Wi-Fi. Um, and so as we were driving through the neighborhood, we ended up seeing some of the, uh, just like the damage that was done in the, in the neighborhood, the streets, there was some trees down. And I was just like, wow, like it was actually kind of like sad to see up close and personal like that. Um, but the city was still back up and thriving by that point. Everyone looked like they were, you know, just out and about probably the first bit of outing that they had since, um, Hurricane Helene. And you know, Hurricane Helene had come through Atlanta too. And so we were kind of a little shook up and preparing. My husband was preparing for the end of the world, honey, the apocalypse, okay? However, we did not get it as bad as we were expecting. Um, prayerfully, like it all went well, um, thank the good Lord. But for the people in South Carolina, definitely thoughts and prayers still with them because you could still see that they were definitely still dealing with the aftermath and all of that um, good stuff. But Overall, I would say Greensville, South Carolina, definitely um, a hit. The food was fooding. Honey, would you go back? Yeah, I'll go. I'll go back. We still gonna do a staycation, <laughs> potentially, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> so y'all might see another video oh, of on. the staycation in South Carolina, Greensville, South Carolina. Um, but yeah, that kind of wraps up our 24 hours in South Carolina. I know it started out in Charlotte, no footage from Charlotte, it's okay though. You know, we're gonna run Charlotte back again too, where we can actually go out in the um, downtown Charlotte area. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Um, anyway, I'm about to finish unpacking these bags. I'm about to go do some laundry, get this all wrapped up, get settled back in for the week. Um, and yeah.
already done my face routine and all of the things um, when I got out the shower. So I am about to go straight in to the brows. So I'm using this Morphe um, brow palette. Um, I do want to put on a little bit of primer, but I do not want to put on the primer before I do my eyebrows because I don't like when my eyebrows end up getting product on them. And then my skin be all slippery, you know. You know. Anyway, so one of the things that... Here you go. Now, you want to be all late and wrong. I ain't late and wrong. I ain't never late and wrong. Always on time. Because I've been waiting on you at yeah. the door. <laughs> Look. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Hmm? But that's what I was looking for, I think. But I'm still not sure. Because oh. it's kind of short. Oh. Right? That. Like, I think I need something a little higher. Like, you already got set up. You already got set up. Well, I'm set up. Like, you was in a film already? Mm -hmm. God damn. Barely, because the thing is, I, I need... Here we go. This is the one who really loves the camera, y'all. The husband that loves to be on the camera. Mm -hmm. Say now, he doesn't like to be on the camera. Not on mine. But really, he's definitely... He got all the personality for in front of the camera. <laughs> Where are we going to eat, honey? Oh, no. This you know man. So I was just you know saying that it's either going to be one way or the other, there's going to be some steak. <laughs> <laughs> so it's either going to be a cheese steak from Woody's. Y'all, is this spot down here in um, oh, Atlanta? A it's a spot down here in Atlanta um, that is literally the closest to a Philly cheese steak I've ever had down here. Maybe even out, like, out of Philly. But, um, anyway. It's called, um, I ain't supposed to know what it's called. Look at me, I ain't supposed to know what it's called. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> she can't keep it! <laughs> How you gonna can't keep it, man? Go ahead, tell them what it is. But, nah, it's called Woody's. Where is it at, babe? Uh, what is Woody's? Woody's is off of Monroe, Kentucky. Like, Midtown. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Midtown, y'all. Might have be my part, too. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I don't know why I felt like that place felt so <laughs> far the first time we ever went. It felt like... Top Woody's? Yeah. It felt like it was definitely further than this. Further than like... Yeah, it was good. It was really good. You trying to get a uh, cheese steak? No. Okay. I mean, not necessarily. Okay, so the other option is Ruth Chris. So it's either Ruth Chris for some real steak or... I have some Ruth Chris too, so... Uh-huh. Some real too. I know, right? So we could definitely do real quick. Oh, funky. We go old and funky. <sighs> we could definitely do real crisp. When I do my eyebrows, it takes me a level of focus, y'all. So bear with me. <laughs> I'm doing something real, like, real cute. I'm like, oh, do I sound like I'm saying? Nah. Okay. I just want to go to Marcel's. Marcel's got a good steak, too. Mmm, Marcel's do got a good steak. You trying to go Marcel's? Baby, I'm not Marcel's dressed. Just, uh, I mean, we cool. We chill. Yo, you know, I, I've never done, like, the bar at Marcel's. Just like, you want to set the bar <sighs> at Marcel's? I actually was kind of looking. I mean, we could do that. We could do that, honey. That's what you're trying to do. Let's do it. Yeah, let's get a steak. Chill. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. You would? I'll be down for what? Yeah. Alright, let me know you're ready. Okay. Come on. Where are you getting dressed? What you putting on? Hey, I'm a, were you like 10 minutes ready? I'll come back. But like other, I'm good. Alright. Let me know when you're ready. Let me know when you're ready. Anyway, so yeah, y'all. So we are preparing to go out for a little date night. So one of the things I was going to say that I have recognized, baby, when they say date nights are still, still need to be prioritized, date nights should be a thing. Are we splitting a steak? Is that what's coming up next? Yes. Yeah. Around. Make some room in the middle for that. 
Thank you.